mis amigos. Bienvenido. Esto es Hacer Feliz Tu Barica. Barija. Esto es mi barija. That's about all I can remember from um, high school Spanish. Well, I remember um, Yo tengo un gato. Mi gato tiene hambre. I have a cat and my cat's hungry. Or donde esta la biblioteca? Where's the library? Yo tengo una lapis. Mis lapis es azul. I have a pencil and my pencil is blue. That's about it. Um, I know enough Spanish to get me in trouble with my Spanish students. So um, today I'm going to make some uh, pico de gallo. I'm going to start uh, with the, like I said, with my recipe. I always use Roma tomatoes. I think they're just meatier and they're better. And unfortunately, this time of the year, you get hothouse Roma tomatoes with one onion. So probably, I don't know, about a pound or two of Roma tomatoes, um, an onion, and I got fresh cilantro, and uh, they didn't have any garlic, so I had to get uh, minced garlic in a jar, which is still real good garlic, and uh, like I said, the, there's slim pickings at the store today. I got a lime. They did have limes. I thought I was going to have to stick with lime juice. Um, like I said, I got some jalapenos. And I love jalapeno flavor, so I'll probably put a bunch of these in there. I, I thought at one store I went to, they didn't have jalapeno, so I thought I was going to have to use jarred, but we got fresh ones. And like I said, I got a serrano chili. A lot of times I'll smoke these, but in my fresh pico de gallo, I don't usually smoke them. So, so I'm going to start by cutting up tomatoes and cut up the onion, and then cut up the peppers. Make sure you wear gloves if you've got them. If not, really wash your hands real well, and uh, do not. Do not touch your eyes or your nose or go to the bathroom and touch your pee-pee because it will burn. Trust me. Um, not as bad as like when I'm cutting the Serrano chili. It'll burn a lot more. But the jalapenos will still burn and it will still make your eyes red and burn your eyes. The oils get on your fingers. So make sure you're really washing with soap and water and hottest water you can stand. All right, so let's get our knife sharpened up to uh, sharpen your knife. This isn't really a sharpener. It's a honer. It's a honing bar. And uh, you need to sharpen your knife on a sharpener or take it somewhere. Meat departments and grocery stores a lot of times can really put a nice edge on your knife for you. Or you get some uh, buddy of yours or a redneck uh, hunter that likes to keep his knife sharp. But to hone it, it's already really pretty sharp. But to hone it, I take it into a uh, 45 degree angle and I go about 5 to 10 times on each side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then you can just kind of feel if it's kind of rough. It's good. Now, you can do like the well, a couple buddies of mine. Well, I've done it too. Anytime you got a new pocket knife or a new hunting knife or whatever, you sit there and you'd shave your hairs off your arm. And I guess that tells you how, uh, how sharp that knife is. So, um... I know, you know, many times in my childhood, got a brand new pocket knife or whatever, you shave your arms. Look how sharp this is. Shave your arm. And uh, so, if you want to test it that way, go right ahead. I'm going to test it by cutting up a tomato. And uh, if it's sharp, it'll cut it. If it's not sharp, it'll squash it. So, I like to use Roma tomatoes for my um, pico de gallo and just anything that I, that I want to eat, like a salsa or anything like that, just because they're meatier and... Um, Less juicy. Problem with, you know, this time of year, hothouse Roma tomatoes, but they'll still work. So I cut the end off and then I lay it up on its cut end. That way it doesn't roll around. See, if you try to like cut it right here, it's all rolling around, it doesn't roll around. And then I'll cut down and make about quarter inch slices. And then I'll lay it on its side and I'll cut strips about a quarter inch. Keep your fingers out of the way, unlike me. It used to be a joke when I started working at the golf hazard, and I'd come in, I'd have something burnt or something cut. My students would be like, hey, Mr. Starcher, what'd you do this time to cut yourself? Did you cut yourself or did you burn yourself? So it kind of got to be a joke in my classroom. What did Mr. Starcher cut or burn uh, every weekend? So, but I'm getting better, you know. So there's a pile of tomatoes. I'm going to cut this a couple here. Just remember, keep your fingers that way. And don't go quick. I mean, it's not a race. It's not a uh, sprint.
sprint it's a marathon when you're cooking so take your time unless you got to have something done really quick like i did one year and i was trying to cut tomatoes up for my sister tammy's uh birthday and i had a mandolin where you know it's a slider where you slide like this and you cut and i had my hand on the guard but i was in a hurry i was late for her birthday party i was slicing the tomatoes up and my hand slipped off and i cut straight down into my nail right there if it wasn't for my fingernail i would have cut my whole pinky tip off and I ended up getting like six stitches, I think. So take your time. And then after I cut them up, I like to give them a little chop like this. Just kind of makes any big pieces that you might have missed. And just give them a little chop. I put my tip down on my knife. Put my hand on top of the back side of the knife. And then I just kind of work it around. You don't have to do this. The quarter inch pieces are fine. I just like to give it that little nice little chop at the end. Because I think it's pretty cool, first of all, to be able to go around like this, like when you see those professional chefs. But it takes practice. You'll get there. Um, so let me get the rest of these tomatoes cut up, and we'll get the rest and start on the onion. Para mi gente Con una pasión Con una pasión tan fuerte Alright, we got our tomatoes all cut up now And that's about probably One, two, three, three to four cups of tomatoes Chopped I'm going to do the onion And then I'm going to do Chop up these peppers um, dice up the cilantro and put some lime juice squeeze that in you know good squeezing so um, let me get all this kind of stuff chopped, chopped together and I'll put it in the bowl and then we'll see how it tastes I guess First of all, before I start cutting up these onions and the rest of these ingredients, I'd like to give a couple shout outs to my brother Ron, who made this cutting board right here for me. And then my brother Terry, and my brother-in-law Mike, who made this cutting board for me. And this one's mainly, it's a bigger, it's a lot bigger, and it goes over my stove or over my sink so that um, I can I can have another prep area while I'm cooking and stuff in this camper and RV because and if you've ever been in an RV the space is kind of limited so let's get give them a big shout out um, tell them how nice these boards look so brothers thank you brother-in-law Mike love you guys uh, miss you uh, a bunch jalapeno um, the way I do it like I said you know this that's just the way I always cut them up I cut that stem off first and then I slice them in half now you leave these veins and these seeds in here it's going to be a lot hotter so I like to um, just kind of break them seeds out of there and then I like to get this vein out of there I mean you guys can leave it in if you want but that's where a lot of your heat comes from and I like to enjoy my food and not suffer through my food. You know, I've been watching this, the, these Hot Ones videos on YouTube. If you ever get a chance, check it out. They're hilarious. And it's uh, where they eat 10 Hot Wings progressively as they progressively get hotter. And just to try and survive, I think. You know, and I don't like that. I don't want to have to survive my food. I, I want to enjoy it. Um, so I like to take out the seeds and the veins. So let's get the rest of these. Uh, then I, well, 
Then I cut them in strips, small strips, because I don't want a big piece of jalapeno. I like a real small. And then I just kind of give them a little chop. I like them smaller than the onions, smaller than the tomatoes. But about, I don't know, uh, eighth or so an inch. And then give them a little chop there. And then stick them in the bowl. So let's get the rest of these chopped up. And we're almost done hitting that finish line. I got a couple more things to chop up. Let's get these peppers chopped up, get them in the bowl, get the cilantro and get the lime juice in there, stir it up, and go get some chips. I got tomatoes, onions, and the peppers all cut up, so I'm gonna give this a nice little stir. Um, you can put as many peppers, you know, this is all about taste. Um, I like more of a tomato y onion, so there's not as much peppers. The peppers are a little bit finer ground. Little juice of one lime, that's about all you need. You can buy already processed lime juice. Then we're gonna take about, I like a lot of garlic. Some people do, some people don't, so I'm gonna take very good heaping uh, table teaspoon tablespoon of garlic Maybe a little more I love garlic garlic is good for your heart it's good for a lot of things so you never really have a, too much garlic all right we got some fresh cilantro here um, I kind of just kind of roll it together into like a little type almost like a cigar kind of thing and I start on the end and I start chopping it get a good chop to it Alright, now we add this to our bowl. And then we'll stir it in and then we'll taste it. And uh, I'm going to have to add some salt and pepper. Um, so let's get this all stirred in there. Alright, so we got this mostly stirred up here. I want to go get a, a bigger spoon and some salt and pepper and then uh, we're going to see how this tastes. Alright, we got all our ingredients in our bowl here. It's all pretty well mixed up. I went and got me a bigger spoon, of course. Um, so just give it a final mix there. Um, I've tasted it and it kind of tasted a little bit bland. Yeah, so I'm gonna add some coarse um, kosher salt here. About, I don't know, a tablespoon or so. Yeah, and you know, and then mix it up there and then taste it again. But uh, this is not very juicy, but the longer it sets in a bowl, it'll get start getting some juicy. If, if you really would like some more juice, you could add like a can of Rotel chilies, just some, uh, something like that, or just even a, a splash of tomato juice. I've done that before. If you like it a little bit more juicier and watery, but this is more of like a, a salad here. Um, so let me taste this. That's a little bit better. I'm going to add a little bit more salt. And then, I don't know what to do with this extra salt. I'll just pour it right there. And then I like to add a little bit of pepper. That's up to you. I like salt. I like pepper. So let me give this a good final stir here, and then we're going to get it out there and see what it tastes like. All right, there you go. You got pico, salt and peppered on the end there. Um, I think it's got a pretty good flavor. Uh, I think it's best if it sits. Some people like to eat it right away. I like to let it sit for a day or so. Uh, like, subscribe, make some comments. So I think this is going to make our belly very happy. Here's Bronson. Um, go lay down. Uh, yeah, trouble. It's, it's like having a little kid around. He always wants to put his nose where it don't belong. Gracias por ver mi video. Y, y uh, vamos a comer ahora.
So let's uh, thank you for watching my video and let's go eat now. Let's make those bellies happy. Mis barriga. Taste it. Here's to a happy belly. Love you guys. That's, that's good right there. I don't know. I'll probably eat most of that tonight. I made a big bowl, but I can see me laying in bed watching Netflix. Netflix and he uh, chill. Hell with that. I'm going to do Netflix and uh, eat. Ha <laughs> ha. You guys chill. I'm going to eat and make my belly happy. Here's to you. Salud. This stuff's good. I, ain't... I have to wait and let it get a little saucier, but man, I don't know if I'm going to wait. This stuff... I'm enjoying this. I'd offer some to old Bronson here. Come here, Bronson. Come here. Nah, he's not gonna come over. He said he doesn't like spicy food. It gives him a ring of fire right underneath his tail. He said he said, I don't mind the spicy food, but he said I don't like it burning going in or burning coming out. So Bronson's he stays away from the spicy food, but not me. I love it. Happy bellies. Happy bellies to you and happy bellies to the rest of the world. Love you guys.